everyone. My name is Carolyn Mall, and I'm the Nutritional Director here at Nutrition River. In my 14 plus years of studying food, fitness, and fads, I have become obsessed with getting the facts. And today what I wanted to share with you are my rendition of the top five inflammatory foods. So let me, let me preface this by saying that Everyone that our philosophy here at Nutrition River is that everyone is really their own science experiment and what affects you one way will affect someone else a completely different way. However, these five foods have been shown over and over and over again to create inflammation in the majority of people and especially here in the United States. I'll go into that in a minute. So top five inflammatory foods, because I know that you want to know this. Gluten, corn, soy, dairy, white sugar. Essentially, sorry guys, the standard American diet. So what I really want to get across to you though today is that like gluten, there's nothing essentially wrong with wheat. Gluten is simply a protein that's found in wheat. All plants have proteins in them. It's just that the wheat that is grown today looks nothing like the wheat that was grown in Egypt 2000 years ago, okay? So we have hybridized and changed our food sources to such a great extent. So like when, when the first wheat was grown, that, that plant many, many, many years ago, it had approximately seven chromosomes. And then it went up to 14. But now, in order to create high yield crops, we have hybridized these plants to such an extent that I believe that our bodies no longer recognize them as the foods that we actually were raised on. And when I say we're raised on, I mean as human beings. Same thing with the corn and the soy. 95% of the corn and the soy that is grown in the United States today is genetically modified. Just a fact. But guess what? There's been no longitudinal studies that have ever proven that that's safe. And so what happens is a lot of times we experience an inflammatory response in our bodies simply because the plants that we are eating have been, well, genetically modified. <laughs> They're not what we are used to. Same goes with dairy. You know, the dairy industry is a very complicated industry. There's a lot of hormones. There's a lot of antibiotics. There's a lot of processing that happens between your mouth and that cow. And so in that process, a lot of things are lost, changed, shifted on a chemical level, which makes it impossible for us to be able to assimilate that food, which in other times and in other cultures, may still be accessible. White sugar, you know, white sugar and salt, everybody knows that these are the most two highly addictive <laughs> um, foods on the planet. And the FDA knows this, we all know this. However, the addition of white sugar and salt into foods makes it so that people have a really hard time saying no. And so, White sugar, there again, it lights up the same chemical and neural receptors in the brain as any sort of stimulant drugs, cocaine, all of those things. We can see very clearly in fMRIs how all of our little brain centers light up when we have ho-hos and Twinkies and white processed sugar. So highly addictive, also highly inflammatory. I just wanted to come on today and share this with you. What you do with this information is your business, right? But the top five inflammatory foods that you could be ingesting right now, gluten, corn, soy, dairy, white sugar, if you can start to eliminate some of these foods, you may feel extremely better for it. We have a 21 day rejuvenation program here on Nutrition River which helps you to over 21 days wean yourself away from these five foods and also basically like create this whole new lifestyle that, um, that helps you to become more confident, more organized and create a feeling of better well-being throughout your day. You might check it out. I'll put a link to it below this video. 
In the meantime, if you have any other questions about these top five inflammatory foods, please send me a message, send us a message here at Nutrition River. It is our passion to be able to provide you with the facts that you need to be able to create the best lifestyle you can for yourself and your family. Thank you so much for being here on Nutrition River, and I'll see you next time. Oh.